What's up guys, Carnage here, and let's check out Toronos on Xbox. Right now I'm playing on Xbox Series X, but you could also play this on Xbox One, Xbox Series S, or Windows 10, as it's a Play Anywhere game. It's published by Restless Corp, and developed by 16-Bit Knights and Cavalier.ro. It released on January 19th, 2021, for a price of $6.99. It's a dungeon crawler, but it's actually not a roguelike. The store page stresses that it is not a roguelike, even though it may have some elements of them. Uh, but it looks like an action RPG. There might be some stealth, some puzzle uh, mixed in there, but uh, I don't really know much about it yet. So I'm kind of intrigued to get into it and show you guys from the very beginning of the game. Uh, I've only played for like two or three minutes just to make sure it worked uh, and everything was set up. But uh, I only got one achievement. There's a lot of achievements to get. Uh, I'm not going to go through them now, but there's a lot of cumulative stuff and getting through the levels. There are six chapters, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of upgrades and other rewards and stuff to unlock. So we're going to check it out from the very beginning, and uh, here we go. There are three difficulty settings as well. And there are, uh, yeah, <laughs> I think we're going to start on easy. Because uh, this is the first time I've been really playing the game, so we're going to get into it uh, slowly but surely. Uh, right stick to look around, so it's a little bit of a twin stick. We'll see if we get any melee ranged weapons. But uh, here we go. We got our trusty torch. Now apparently from what I've heard, I, I haven't uh, seen it yet, but there's like this minotaur boss that follows you throughout the game, and that's like the main enemy. So, um, you know, it kind of reminds me of, like, Resident Evil Nemesis or whatever, where that dude was chasing you all the time. Um, I wonder if that's what they were going for. Uh, but you have to interact with this with the Y button. So we're going to do that and see what this means, what it does. Thank you, Apollo. Thank you, Apollo. Light, will the weapon Light the that will, weapon the that will brace the darkness or something like that. Remove obstacles. We have to hold in the Y button again. That's a little weird. I don't know why we have to hold it so long to break one little rock when I can't just step by on the side. But okay. A um, little awkward. That wasn't so hard. We'll see if we get used to it. Uh, let's see. It probably is like a twin stick uh, for the aiming. If, if you're if you're looking around with the right stick already, like I'm hoping you get like a, either melee or, or ranged weapons with that. Um, but. I don't even know what I did. I just... Okay, I went to the next floor. You can run by holding A. So this is just the tutorial area. Watch out for traps, which I'll probably step on. Guaranteed there are probably spikes. Okay, so they want me to look around with the right stick, but then I can't hold A unless I hold my controller very awkwardly. Um, I don't know. That's strange. I would prefer a different button for run, but that's just me. There might be a way to change it. Uh, if you go back, you lose a life. Okay, we're not going to do that. It is also very dark, even though I have a torch. Okay. And they're going for a very minimalistic art style, I could tell here. Very retro. But uh, also very hard to see. <laughs> Okay, the labyrinth hides mystical things. Well, it hides a, sh uh, a shitload of things if I can't see them. Uh, just kidding around. Uh, I'll get the hang of it. Some traps can be avoided by following clues. Oh, shit, not that one. <laughs> Apparently just died already. Yeah, I love how they put the hint on the right. <laughs> oh, man, and they tell me that I, I read that and then I walk into something and die. So that was fun. Um, I already lost one life. You know what? We're going to start over. I don't even care. We're going to start the game over, because we can. Not like we have quarters or anything in an arcade game. <laughs> so it begins again. Alright, let's see here if I can make it through without getting hurt. Okay, holding A to run. And waiting for the traps. Oh yeah, we got to open this thing again. Upgrades are permanent. I do like that. Uh, I don't know what they were talking about that with permadeath then, but maybe it means if you lose one life, you still have your upgrade, but if you lose all of your lives, then it's game over. That's probably what that it sounded so like. Uh, but here we go again. No back. We'll try to uh, we'll try to get through. Uh, it looks like there are yeah six different chapters. 
We have 10 lives starting out on easy. That might differ on different difficulties. But uh, let's see what we can get into here. Okay, watch out for traps. I see the trap here. This next trap, though... Where was it? Right... Okay, we gotta break this first. Yeah, that's the weird gripe, though. I, I don't like how long it takes to hold that down just to break a small obstacle. Alright, now we gotta watch for another trap here. Somewhere. Okay, so those are those little holes on the floor that you can barely make out. You gotta be really careful. You gotta have really good eyesight to see that stuff. I like literally move closer to my TV now, so it's a little better. I mean, the weird part is, I don't know if you could zoom in or out in this game, but they're not using the sides of the screen right now. Like, I don't know. Okay, so this is just part of... I'm assuming this is all chapter one still. Or, okay, chapter one has different rooms, and then there's multiple chapters. I see. Makes sense. All right. Minotaur alert on the top left. I just noticed that. Um, also, apologies for the uh, thing on the top left being cut off a little bit. Okay, hopefully you can... Oh, that hurt me. Although you don't die right away. Um, yeah, I had some... I have to set up some stuff with my TV settings. I don't know why it was uh, doing that. What is this? Locate your enemy. The Minotaur alert meter. It is only getting faster. Oh, snap! There's the Minotaur right there. So, you gotta just run from the Minotaur and try to... I guess that's where the stealth comes into play a little bit. You gotta try to run and hide from it. Uh, I don't know if you can kill the Minotaur. Probably not, because if it's chasing you the whole game... I don't know. Definitely a different concept. Something different here, unique. That I haven't seen, like... Well, like we said earlier, with Resident Evil Nemesis, that's what it kind of reminds me of, but... You know, I haven't seen that in a while, at least. At least I haven't. Uh, we got an achievement already. Light 2. Range of view, too. So does that mean I can see further now? Maybe that's what that meant. Or is that... Do I have to upgrade manually? Let's see here. Not quite sure. But... Oh, wow! Hello, Minotaur! I look at my uh, screen for uh, something else for a second and... Instantly getting hurt. Uh, increase the Minotaur's power by closing his access point. Decrease... I, I don't know what that means, exactly. Very strange game so far. <laughs> now, I, I like obscure, strange, unique type of games, but I don't know what the hell's going on just yet, so... We'll see if we figure it out. How does it always know where I am? Um, do I go there, or do I go down? No, that's a dead end. So we're gonna dodge that Minotaur here and go in this door to the next floor. Don't like that we don't have a weapon yet. I don't even know if we do get a weapon the whole game. Like, are you just dodging this guy the whole game, or...? Each path has its own challenges and rewards. Yeah, this path has a damn trap in my way. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what the hell I'm doing again, but... Stamina is increasing. Okay. Uh, speed upgrade. Another achievement. Seems like it has a lot of quick achievements. There are 44 achievements in the game. I don't want to go in there just yet, do I? Let me see. I can, I can loop him around there. Oh, can I make it? Yes, I made it around. And there's another achievement. Time one. Interact faster. Okay. I could, I could, uh... Oh, wow, there was... <laughs> I'm looking at the achievement pop-up, and meanwhile, I almost got hit with an arrow across the screen. But uh, I can appreciate that the thing that I said takes a while, now it will take less time, because it looks like I got an upgrade for interaction speed. So I do like that. Um, I don't like that there's no map. Um, I don't know where to go. Just gotta do it old-school style and randomly explore with the Minotaur on my tail. 
Yeah, that's not going to happen there. I'm probably going to lose life here. Let's see if I can make it. Hephaestus. Another one. I expected that to be another achievement. Uh, let's see. Reached armor level one. Oh, crap. I almost got hit by that. Yeah, this is... This is going to be really hard to, to find everything in the dark. Like, this game is... Uh, you definitely need good, a good eyesight or a good TV. Uh, this guy is getting faster and more pissed off at me, and there's no way I can get past him. So, that kind of sucked. Uh, luckily, there is a continue. And I, I don't know how many lives I've lost there. Uh, but it does show my upgrades on the top right, by the way, which I just noticed because it's very damn small. Um, I really don't know why they're not uh, utilizing the rest of the screen. Um, I do have a lot of, honestly, a lot of questions about this game right now, but... I don't know, it's, it's different. Okay, so did I lose my upgrade before? I, I'm confused. They said upgrades are permanent, though. Unless you make it through the floor, maybe. Maybe you have to get to the next okay so that's did i i didn't want to go in there yet did i learn everything no i didn't <laughs> i wanted to stay on that floor but oh well the hell is oh the minotaur is just camping right there apparently and i died by another spike okay <laughs> lost another life this is going to be uh it's going to be a rough completion. Very challenging game. Uh, even just getting through the game, beating it, uh, will probably prove hard. And then on top of that, getting all the achievements will probably be even tougher. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is a very strange one. Not that that's a bad thing, but I, so far I haven't honestly been really that, that into it yet. i uh, also been dying a lot, so that could be part of it. Um, I hope we can get combat in this game. If we don't, I might get a little bit bored. Not going to lie. Um, but, uh, you know, it's definitely a different type of... Yeah, I'm going to probably restart the game one more time. We're going to try one more from the beginning. Um, man, this is easy mode. I don't even want to know hard mode right here. Um, yeah, let's start a new game up. Uh, I'll try to be a little more careful this time. And maybe we'll get progress. I don't know. But, uh, you know, obviously this game uh, might not be for everyone, but I don't know. Maybe it's not for me. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> it's hard to tell this early on, but you guys can see what uh, what you take of it. If you do like what you see, you could always pick it up for only six ninety nine. Not a bad price. So, you know. It's going to be definitely a challenging completion, though, like I said. Not an easy 1K here. <laughs> I don't think it will be, unless I'm totally missing something. Who knows? Prove me wrong. Go get so the 1,000. <laughs> We're going to try this one more time, though, no as I said. Uh, and we'll see if we can make it through at least Chapter 1. That would be nice. Okay, they, they want me to run, but then they tell me there's a trap. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So, I'm going to pay attention to everything on screen. Be very careful here. And, oh, we got to open that one. We got to interact with it and break that. And then we can get through and go for it. Do I follow my intuition? Uh, maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. Well, I'm going to try continuing. This is ridiculous, though. Like, got to be really super careful in this game. Oh, I didn't press A right away. Okay, I can go underneath this thing here. And then be very careful about those. Do I follow my intuition? 
There we go. All right. Sometimes it helps to have a clear head. And into the exit we go. Small glimpse of hope. A glimpse of hope? Yeah, right. <laughs> Not with me playing. Uh, I haven't figured this game out yet. Like I said, I could be totally missing something. Eh, yeah, being careful is one of them. <laughs> um, let's try to get all the upgrades, though. Okay, locate your enemy. I didn't do that before. So that's showing where he's coming from. That makes a little more sense now. Uh, but we need to upgrade. And that is probably where we came from. Again, I got hit. That's kind of uh, annoying. You take so much damage on easy. But maybe you fill health at the next floor? I don't remember. Let's see. Yeah, we do. Okay, so that's fair. They at least let you do that. On this floor, we can see where he's coming from again. And not go up that way. We'll go left first. See if we can't make it through at least floor one. Or chapter one. Okay, there's something to upgrade here. Now, we got that before, but I guess we got to get it again. Light always, Light finds, always a finds a way. That might be... Um, yeah, that's definitely a bigger arc of Torchlight. <laughs> Not Torchlight the game, because that's a dungeon crawler too, right? Um, wasn't trying to make a pun, but hey, there it goes. I'm going to follow this guy around. And I guess with this Toro guy, you, you could, I could guess you could say this game is hard and it's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now that was an intentional pun. Alright, decrease the Minotaur's power by closing the access point. I did not do that before. I don't think I did. So, this will confuse that will confuse it for a while. Okay, we didn't do that before, so I feel a little better about making it further now at this point. How does it always know where I am? Yeah, how does he always know where I am, though? <laughs> for real. Um, I'm just going to go in the exit. I don't know if we missed something. But it's fine. Here we go. Each path has its own rewards. It also has its own traps. I gotta be careful again. Like that one, which I still wasn't able to dodge even though I knew it was coming up. Damn it. There's gotta be... Yeah, there's something here. So yeah, it seems like more of a stealth kind of game. Definitely different. Uh, I don't know if you get com combat. Uh, I could also get hit again. If there's combat at all or any other mechanics. Okay, let's see what we get here. Obstacles cannot keep me, keep me back. Uh, we didn't get everything. But I'm going to try to make a run forward to the left. If we don't die. More confusing by the moment. Nope. <laughs> we still died. That's all good. I'm just going to check if we kept the upgrades that time. So we kept one of the upgrades, I believe. I don't know. I'm not sure how, to, how it works exactly. We're going to go down here again and see if we can't press it one more time. And maybe I'll just progress up uh, through and go to the exit right away. I don't know. Getting a little impatient, to be honest. <laughs> I kind of want to see what, what other stuff awaits. Aside from traps that will kill me. Yeah, let's, let's just go in the exit for now. It's fine. Nope, that's not there this time. I could have sworn it was there, unless they are changing up the dungeon pattern a little bit. I thought they said it wasn't a roguelite, though. I could have just went the wrong way. Um, what the hell was that trap? I didn't even see that one. Most of the time, you won't see a trap in this game. It's quite ridiculous. Like, really hard to see. You gotta get more of these torch upgrades. And be very, very, very careful. <laughs> like, this, 
there's just nowhere to... I don't think there's a map anywhere. Very confusing. How am I going to get away from him here? I have no idea. Okay, that wasn't too bad yet. But I feel like I'm not making much progress because... Alright, we'll try this one. I think I got armor. Alright, let him go that way. I can go around. And I got hit again. Because why not? Oh! I can't even dodge it. I literally... Wow. Okay, we're just going to move to the next floor before I die again. I did not learn everything on that floor, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm moving on. Okay. So if I go down here... That's where he's coming out of, isn't it? And I rushed, rushed through again. I am so impatient. <laughs> I guess the name of the game is Toro... Oh my god. Toro no... Again? Toro no... So I'm basically as stubborn as a bull. Because I am not patient. Alright, here we go. This time for real. Now, it, uh, definitely not getting far in this game, but... At least for, for now, until I understand and figure out what's going on. Maybe when I do, I will appreciate it more. Um, I could see that the devs have a passion for what they're going for with this, but personally, right now, it's not really, uh, you know, <laughs> making me want to continue, to be honest. I'm a little uh, frustrated and a little confused. But uh, that's not to say it's a bad game. Like I said, it might just not be for everybody. Um, so showing you guys what it's like so you can decide for yourself. Um, if you're more patient than I am, you might have a better time. I'm going to really try to take my time this time here. No lie. Let's see if I can do it. Like, there's traps everywhere. I mean, it's more about dodging. See? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Or should I say, speak of the Minotaur. Alright, we're going to open this up. Can we get through the chapter? That's my only goal right now. There's so many things that are very hard to see. I don't know how you can possibly see that. Like, I... I have pretty good vision. And I have contacts in on top of that. Like, okay, my vision wasn't terrible, but I did use glasses and contacts. And I have contacts in, and I still am having trouble seeing. Like, this is a game of patience. I, I don't know. It's just not, um... It's just not registering with me, like, the way I want it to. Uh, I wanted to like this game more. Right now, I'm, I'm struggling to uh, be able to do that, unfortunately. But like I said, guys, it's uh, different for everyone, so you might have a better time with it, or, uh, you know, if you like... I guess it's more of a stealth game, and I'm not patient in stealth games. Not to say I don't like stealth games, it's just... This is a very unique, uh, different type of game. And I'm also going to die again, because I can't get through now. Let him come down here. I'll probably die by another trap anyway before I get to the exit. Don't be scared. Yeah, right, I must go back. I must go back. I'm not going back. No <laughs> Hell no, I'm not going back. There's probably a trap waiting any second now. So alone. I, I don't know if this is the right way. What the hell is this? My character's going crazy. Yep, that's, n uh, that's the totally wrong way. So, oh well. <laughs> oh man. Well, I think uh, right there I'm going to uh, unfortunately call it. Um, this one, you know, it's it's different. <laughs> it's it's probably not for everyone. It's going to be a uh, very niche game. And if it's your type of game, if you like what you saw, then by all means pick it up and support the devs. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't uh, I can't really recommend this one personally from uh, you know what I've seen of it so far. Uh, maybe I'll come back to it at some point, possibly. Uh, and give it another try, and you know, once I get better at the game, maybe I'll I'll make another video and show you guys uh, update on it. But as it stands right now, 
Um, it's, you know, it's a decent little game, nothing special. It's just not not for everybody, unfortunately. Um, you know, it's it's a stealth, weird type of game and very challenging, very hard to see stuff. That's a lot of uh, the main issues I'm having. If I could see better right away and get more torch upgrades, maybe I would not have a problem. But either way, guys, it's out now on Xbox uh, $6.99. Decide from, you know, if you liked what you saw, feel free to pick it up. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll have more video content soon. So make sure you guys hit that notification bell to be updated on when I upload new videos. And thanks again for your support. Uh, also, I'll actually be doing a giveaway for this game uh, thanks to the uh, publisher. So stay tuned for that. So if you guys uh, maybe like the game and uh, you know want to try it for yourselves and challenge yourselves and torture yourselves a little bit, because this is going to be a, a challenging one, but I will have the uh, giveaway information coming up shortly on Twitter as of this uh, recording. So keep your eye on my Twitter, twitter.com slash K4RN4GE, if you haven't already followed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give away a few copies of the game. Thanks again, everyone, and see you next time.